Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. In this video, I would like to show you how you can easily optimize the prediction latency of transformer models. Yes, transformer models are great. Uh, they can increasingly solve a wide area of machine learning problems, but they tend to be big models and that often translates to rather slow prediction in production. So how can we solve this? Well, Hugging Face has designed uh, a product called Infinity, which is a dockerized solution that you can run anywhere in the cloud or, or on premises. And with one simple Docker command, you can optimize the model for the underlying architecture. And with a second Docker command, you can deploy the optimized model to a prediction API that you can invoke. And uh, customers tell us they see up to 10x speed up, which is very significant. So let's get to it. In this demo, I'm going to use uh, one of my own models that I actually train using Auto NLP. Uh, and uh, you can see this in another video. And this is a sentiment analysis model that I fine tuned on a movie review dataset, the IMDB movie review dataset. So um, the, the model is, is available on the hub. Uh, it's it's public, so you could actually go and try it. Okay, so we can try it. The Phantom Menace was a waste of my life. This is a negative review. So, okay, that's the model that I have. As you can see here, it's based on the Roberta architecture. And, of course, it's a text classification model, right? And, well, that's a good candidate for Infinity because those uh, task types and... Uh, task types are here and model architectures are here right so both the task type and uh, the model architecture are supported by infinity okay so in the rest of this demo i'm gonna grab this model optimize it with infinity uh, i'll push it back to the model hub just to show you the workflow and then i will deploy it on infinity straight from the hub and of course we'll run some benchmarks to compare um, how the new model does compared to the, the base model. Okay. Infinity supports optimizing models for CPU and GPU architectures. In this demo, I'm going to use a CPU instance running on AWS, but you could try it somewhere else. And in fact, I'm going to use a C6i instance, which is a, a brand new family that literally came out a few days ago. And I'm going to use a 2x large instance, okay, with the eight virtual CPUs and 16 gigs of memory. Right. So I've uh, created this instance already, okay, and here it is. Okay, I've logged into it. Uh, do we need to install anything here? Uh, so obviously we need to install Docker, uh, and that's the only dependency you need for Infinity. Um, I'll uh, add a few more things because I'm going to run some Python code and Transformers code. Okay, so let's quickly install all those dependencies and then we can start optimizing the model. Of course, we're going to need Git and Docker. So super easy, one command installs them like this. Next, I need to install uh, Git LFS, uh, large file support, because as mentioned, I'm going to push the model back to the hub and the models are stored as large files. Okay, so first I need to download the git LFS package. Um, it's a shame it's not in the standard repos. Then I can install the package. And finally, I can initialize large file support. Okay, so we're done with the native dependencies. Now we can install a few Python packages. Here I'm installing the Transformers library because I'm going to run some uh, local code to test the model. I need PyTorch. I need the Hugging Face CLI to interact with the Hugging Face Hub and the Requests library, which I'll use to invoke my local prediction endpoint. Okay, so let's just go and install those. All right, we're done with dependencies, so now we can get to work. The first thing I want to do is to get a sense of how fast the original model is. Right, because you know I need to know what the baseline is before optimizing. So I actually wrote just a short bit of code here, um, and as you can see, this creates 
uh, sentiment analysis pipeline using my uh, original model. And uh, I'm going to use it to predict this uh, short movie review here, right? And yes, June is a very good movie. I recommend it. And then uh, I'm going to run uh, this prediction 100 times and just uh, average all those prediction times, right? And so we'll see the time in milliseconds. Okay. So let's go and run this and see how fast this model is. All right, should take just a few seconds. Okay, 23, 27. Let's run it just a few times to see if that's a good stable value. Okay, yeah, so a little bit more than 23 milliseconds per prediction. So that's the baseline, and now we can try and see how to optimize this model and speed that things model. up. Uh, I mentioned it was one single Docker command, so here it is, right? So Docker run. Uh, with the infinity multiverse image. We're optimizing for an Intel target, which is a CPU. Uh, the task type is sequence classification, right? Sentiment analysis is classification. The model architecture is Roberta. And the original model to pull from the hub is this one, right? So that container will optimize the model, save it to um, uh, a path inside a container, which I map to this local path, right? Which is in fact the repo I just created. Okay, so that the optimized model will be in a repo already, and all I have to do is commit and push, right? So let's run this command. It's gonna take a few seconds, and uh, and then we can see the new model. After maybe 20 seconds, the model is ready. And now I can see my output, you know, the infinity model, and of course the tokenizer and the config. So I can just go and um, commit that to my repo. Okay, done. So now if I go back here, I should see the model, right? Okay, so now that model can be deployed in the Infinity container. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. As mentioned, we need to run another container. So let's go and do that. Let me show you the command. So here's the command, docker run opening port 8080. Uh, passing the name of the Infinity container and the location of the model to deploy. So we have different storage options. We could deploy from S3. Uh, we could deploy from uh, uh, different locations. Here I've decided to deploy straight from the hub, you know, which I guess makes sense, right? So let's just go and launch this. Okay, so uh, it's going to download the model and start the container and create the endpoint and so on okay and while it's doing that uh, let me open a second terminal because of course this is where i'm going to run my code okay all right so we can see um, that container has started uh, it's using uh, two uh, threads for uh, open mpi it's using two threads for Intel MKL, which is a, a hardware acceleration library by Intel. Uh, these values are uh, uh, tweakable if you if you want. Uh, and so now I've got this uh, I've got this uh, endpoint right. Uh, I should be able to see it. Okay. Perfect. So now we can run our prediction code. So what do we have here? So it's reasonably simple uh, we're using the same uh, movie review this is the local url of our endpoint and i'm going to run a thousand predictions and average the, the times and uh, there's a convenient header that gives me the compute time inside the container right so i can know exactly how much time was spent predicting this so let's go and try this All right, so we see the requests on the left. And let's see what the time is. Let's run it a few times. 
Maybe it needs to warm up. Yes, pretty stable. Okay, so let's say 4.5, right? 4.5 milliseconds. So we went from 23 something. Yeah, let's check that number. Twenty, yeah, twenty-two, twenty-three, depending. Um, so that's about, yeah, that's about five. Uh, yeah, that's about you know, more than five times faster. Yeah, five x. So that's that's pretty typical. And again, depending on models and task types and uh, and architectures, uh, you can see up to ten x improvements, which is really really significant because of course your uh, prediction is faster. So for latency sensitive um, use cases like search or uh, personalization or uh, conversational apps, this is super important, right? So speed does matter. Um, but you can also increase throughput, right? So with the same amount of infrastructure, you can predict more traffic or uh, you could predict the same traffic with much less infrastructure, right? Which of course would save you uh, time and money uh, because you would just run uh, fewer prediction servers, right? And again, this is what we hear from our customers. So how do you get started with Infinity? Uh, well, it's pretty simple. You just go to huggingface.co slash infinity and uh, you request a trial, right? And just fill in a few uh, a few fields here, and uh, and we'll get back to you and and give you access, and uh, and we can discuss pricing, right? Um, but this is really really as you saw a super super simple way to um, accelerate transformer workloads. Um, two Docker commands and you're done. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to show you today. Uh, I'm sure there'll be more uh, Infinity videos in the future. We're, we keep adding stuff to this. And until then, well, have a good week, have a good time, keep learning. See you soon.